In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add cinematic black bars inside of Premiere Pro. Let's jump onto my laptop and let me show you how to get those cool looking black bars. So the first thing you need to do inside of Premiere Pro is head to the bottom left under Effects, and we're going to grab the Crop tool, drag it and drop it onto our video clip. Now you can just drop the Crop tool onto your clips, but a way better way is to add an adjustment layer. Let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna head into our project. We're going to select New, an adjustment layer. Make sure it's the same settings as the sequence that you're currently working on. We're gonna click OK. And then you're gonna grab the adjustment layer. We're gonna drop it on top and drag it so it covers all of the clips within your edit. And then we're going to drop that crop effect onto the adjustment layer. Now what this does is it applies the changes we're going to make, which is the black bar we're going to add to your entire edit, instead of doing it on one clip, and then you're gonna do it on the next clip, and the next clip, and the next clip. So if you've done a good enough edit and you've got lots of cuts in there, it's much easier to add the adjustment layer to do these black bars. So now we head into that adjustment layer, we can preview it here, and it looks normal. Now we're going to add those black bars. What we're gonna do is go into the effect controls. Under the crop, we're going to head to the top, and we're going to enter 12%. And we're going to head to the bottom and we're going to enter 12 percent now you can see it has applied the black bars to our video and that makes it look so much more cinematic let's play it through have a look at that that looks really cool and it looks like a cinematic movie now a cool thing to do is to get those black bars to slowly start in the beginning it gives the feeling of the curtain lifting at the beginning of your film so what you need to do is head to your adjustment layer and we're going to add a keyframe at the top and the bottom and then we're going to head back to the start and we're going to go in there and put it back to zero and put it back to zero. Now have a look at what happens to the black bars appearing in the beginning. So it's a really cool opener to slowly draw in your viewer. You like feel like you're coming into it as the black bars are appearing on your edit. This is a really cool way to make your video look cinematic. If you like cinematic videos as much as we do, then let us know by smashing that like button. It helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions about adding black bars inside of Premiere Pro, then let us know in the comments down below and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.